What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody prevailing in today? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to make a Derek Coleman build so you already know my people. I don't know if I ever made one. I made so many builds since what 2k21 or 2k22. It's 2k25 now and I don't even know how many builds I've made so I wouldn't be surprised if I haven't made a Derek Coleman build but here you go I'm bringing it to you now so you already know first things first we see he's a power 46 10 230 pounds okay keep that in mind jersey number 44 because I'm always forgetting the jersey numbers all right so as you can see right uh, driving layup of a 79 I'm a highly advocate of having at least an 80 or above on the layup layups is still good real play percentage is still good a lot of people say that a uh, real play percentage doesn't allow them to make more consistent layups but i know for me um i don't know i think it's still good i think the close shot with real play percentage is actually insane too it's really good I, I, so we got that 79 standing dunk of a 70 if you could go 70 i think 2 or 71 to get um i think you get area wizard or rise up at least on bronze i feel like that's perfect to go for driving dunk 65 which is really good close shot of a 92 most centers are gonna have a high close shot because they're so tall and they can finish them on a basket easily right mid-range game uh 88 which is great three point shot of a 78 okay so that's what we're working with 81 free throw that's amazing uh the post control is a 92 okay so he's good in the post too right uh the playmaking is where you're gonna take a hit most builds are gonna have some type of placement where you're gonna take a hit so you just gotta understand that so in the um pass accuracy is i mean the playmaking is where it's gonna be but as you can see he has some pretty good defense as well so 83 interior which is solid if you could get that 60 intercept to go for it that's gonna be great um block at 82 offensive rebound at 84 uh defensive rebound 90 go to 92 don't just stop at 90 that's a waste and then um the speed uh -huh. it's got some decent physicals nothing too crazy here then that 92 strength is gonna be nice and his vert is low so the build look pretty good a little like a you know a stretch rebounder type of build play some decent defense all right so let's go to the my play builder and get right into making Derek coleman you're gonna find that open slot and then you're gonna go right to making the build if you got this far into the video just drop a like subscribe show some love to the channel i would greatly appreciate it all right so jersey number is 44 i don't know what his dominant hand was i always just go right because that's what i am in real life it's a 44 uh, we're going to power forward on this build and then um you want to go to where's my notes all right here we go uh 610 drop that weight down to 223 uh-huh and then you want to go to 76 on the wingspan all right so now first things first always start with the physicals it just makes sense to always start with physicals um i went 69 on the vertical i don't know why i went 69 i'm gonna just go 70 83 on the strength all right so that's gonna be solid the agility you want to go 71 on the agility you could actually just go 70 like, i don't think 71 does anything so just go 70 speed also at a 70 so we got balance agility balance speed that should be really good some centers have like 50 something 60 something speed and agility so you have way more than what they have uh the defensive rebound 86 right but then the great thing about this the offensive rebound is going to be higher so you're going to be able to snag so we get a 92 we could go higher but it makes no sense so we just go 92 for the gold rebound chaser i feel like gold rebound is still good i think some people sleep on gold rebound chaser it's still good so look at this 80 on the block you already know how we get down um the steel we're gonna go with a 60 on the steel yes indeed and then for the perimeter we're gonna go 72 on the perimeter so we're gonna be able to play pretty good perimeter defense but look at this we get that silver immobile on um on the perimeter by having a 72 uh bronze challenger is gonna be great all four passes on silver so that's gonna also be amazing and then we're gonna go um for the interior defense we're going with an 82 just so we can get post lockdown on silver 
So from the physicals, I think for a 610, this is pretty solid. Okay, so we got that strength. The strength at 83 is essential because we get silver brick wall, gold uh, box out piece, fire. And then now the playmaking is where we take a hit at. So we just got to kind of live with that. We're going to go 55 ball handle right here and then drop this to 40, pass accuracy 60. All right. So this is all we're going to have on this in terms of the playmaking. But the free throw, the free throw is going to be awesome. So look at this. I went 93 on the free throw, max out this three point shot at 76 for shifty shooter on bronze, set shot specialist bronze, dead eye bronze, and then we're maxing out the mid range shot at an 83. So you, you should be able to, listen, you should be able to get buckets with this build. All right, you should be able to get buckets. Post control is gonna be there at an 87. So 87 is so amazing this year. Post up hold on gold, post, Powerhouse silver, unpluggable silver, hook specialist silver, post fade phenom on gold, greatness right there. And then we go 81, right? We go 81 on rise up, drive and dunk, we're going 66 actually. And then we're gonna definitely get that 80 drive and layup. And then the rest we're gonna put towards anything. It doesn't even matter, we just go 94 here. So some people may say, oh, why you went so high on the free throw? Listen. Or transition side like fouls it'll put you at the line because you got the highest free throw um when they get a three seconds and a key on defense they're gonna put you at the free throw so this build is solid okay is this the most dominant power forward no but you can work with these attributes you can shoot middies you got threes you know what i mean you uh you have the free throw so if they foul you that's a mistake and you have some pretty good defense you got that interior you got perimeter defense because you got that challenger you don't get on board menace because you have to be um you have to be must be six eight i mean six nine or shorter so you're not going to get that on board menace but at least you do get the challenger you get interceptor which is great uh pain patrol is going to be on bronze pogo stick is going to be on silver high flying denier is going to be on bronze as well so that's going to be great then you got the rebounding. You'll be able to rebound really well on this build. 70 speed, 70 agility. Do not sleep on that um, as a 610. 83 on the strength. Like all of the badges that you get by having an 83 brick roll silver, physical finisher, uh, post powerhouse silver, the moving on forces silver, post lockdown on silver, box out beast gold. You get a lot of good stuff here, right? So also keep that in mind. Um, maybe you want to go 75 to get some contact dunks then you could definitely do that if you want to maybe put this down and then you could probably get at 75 and then you could just bring this back up to at least like an 83 or something that might be something that you want to do it's really up to you but once you add the attributes like i did as you're gonna see see if you move stuff around this is what happens that's why i try not to you know move things around so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to what I had inside the arc. Board hunter is not bad, so I'm gonna go back to the attributes that I originally had. Honestly, um, it was the 70. Put this here, and just that one move is gonna give us their comb. You see, you see how you change things around and you don't get the shades of it anymore. But <laughs> that one move literally changed us from getting Derek Coleman. So here you go, inside the arc board, all right? So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build. Until next time, much love.